camera, Brian Howell from the Boulder Daily Camera. Um, I was able to chat with you uh, throughout you committed here and you were excited about testing yourself Power 5. Mm -hmm. What's it been like so far being here in Colorado and you know, practicing with a new team and a bunch of new guys? Oh, it's been great. It's been awesome. Um, getting around new guys that come from different um, communities than where I come from while I was playing at Jackson. You know what I'm saying? So we just, it's just been awesome just getting used to being in a new atmosphere and being on the West Coast, but I'm a South guy, so. <laughs> hey, Cam. Uh, Ryan Coyberg from DMVR. You said to Neely in one of the interviews that, you know, you want to be a dog. That's something that you pride yourself in. What does that mean to you? I mean, my coach, like, that's what he's looking for. Like, he's been looking for dogs, and I, and I have had the opportunity to be always a dog that he can call on and that he can count on. So I pride myself on that, just knowing that my head coach can count on me to be a dog every time. Hi, Cam. Uh, Nick Edwards, CU Sports Report. Just working with new coaching staff, specifically um, D.C. Charles Kelly, what have you learned from him? What are some helpful insights that he's brought to your game? Everything. He's up my game a whole bunch, um, mentally, physically. Just um, being a smaller guy, he's taught me how to, you know what I'm saying, play small and play to my advantages. And, um, just be smart, be smarter and take less hits. Uh, Tony Casola, Buffalo Wire. You mentioned playing to those banners. What are some of the advantages that fans can look for out of your game? Um, advantages, I'm, you're gonna, I'm a four down guy. You know what I'm saying? No plays off of me. Uh, you gonna, you had to deal with me every play. And a lot of guys, and it seemed like so cliche, but a lot of guys in this power five, they don't, they don't, they're not four down guys, to be honest with you. Like, so I just pride myself on being a guy that I'm going to show up every play, every play. Joe Rico, My Life Sports Radio is the final word. You know, the excitement for the spring game is coming up, but it looks like there's a lot of work to be done. Can you tell me a little bit about the competition? Because it seems like there's a lot more depth. There's a lot of real hardcore competition going on. Can you tell me how kind of the iron sharpens iron mentality is going on? I mean, that's just how that's just how we get down. How the coaches get down. How the, um, how the players he brought in get down. We just trying to relay that message to our, to the other players. Like coming coming up, we compete every play. Like it's ones on ones. Like is you my partner, you my friend off the field, but we get on the field. Like I need you. To, you know what I'm saying? Bring the best out of me, and we we get on the field. We might. Say something crazy to each other, but it's all a lot of competition. It's all a lot of love. Just trying to get better. Hey, Jason, uh, Sports. What NFL players do you want to turn on again? Tyron Matthew, Bob Sanders, Troy Potomalo. This is my hair, so people always <laughs> gave me Troy Potomalo. But you know what I'm saying? Um, Troy Potomalo, Tyron Matthew, Bob Sanders, all those guys. These guys I always watch just in, day in, day out. Hey Cam, Tyler King, never be dead. Um, you're obviously one of the leaders of the Texas State defense last season. How important is that for you to continue that now on a new team? How, how important do you value the leadership spot at, at safety? I mean, a safety, a safety is the quarterback of the defense. So it's kind of something you have to do. And I, I've been pretty good at it in my recent years. And um, that's a part, that's how I feel like it's a part of me being here is to step up and be that leader. You know what I'm saying? So I just, that was my role coming here. When I signed papers, I'm like, okay, I got to step up and lead these guys. Cameron, going off of that, you and a few other guys uh, came here from Jackson play for Coach Sanders. So how important is it for you guys to help establish the standard here because you know what it is? I mean, a lot of times this is um, the standard is set. Like, when we walk in, it's no, it's no gray, like, gray area. Like, what he says is what he means. So we, a lot of times, just that guys, we sit back and just try to save a lot of guys. Like, hey, you don't need to wear that out here. Like, no, nah, don't wear that. He's going to say something. Like, that's big. That's our biggest thing. So we, we just try to be um, – a, a dictionary to the other guy, just let them know, like, this is what we need, this is what he wants, this is what he's looking for, you know what I'm saying? Just a inside, inside to the coach's minds. Last one, Adam. Hi, Cam. Adam was retired 24 7 sports. You mentioned having to be kind of the quarterback of the secondary back there. What's it been like going to, uh, up against this up tempo offense every day? Is that a, a challenge in terms of uh, that it's going to help prepare you for the season? Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been tough. It's been tough. They have, a, they have a lot of speed over there, and they're going fast with speed, with a smart quarterback. So it's kind of, we got to stay, hold out, you know what I'm saying, hold out two shells, hold it. We don't come down too fast because two will pick this off, you know what I'm saying? So really it's been, it's been tough, but we, we have gradually got used to it. And I feel like when the season started off and we go play our first game, it's going to help us because the team's going to go slower than what we were originally going.